me, to, to make the decision to feed antibiotic would be based on, on your needs. Every, every situation is a little bit different, but in my mind, if you're trying to save labor, uh, your guys are out there uh, doing other things. If you put the antibiotic in the feed, you're not having to pull them up and run them through the chute. Uh, number two is it reduces the stress on the animals. Every time you go through the chute, the, the stress level is going to increase, and when you're dealing with sick animals, that's something that you don't want. And then in Pulmatil case, it's uh, 14 days of sustained therapy versus the, the you know, five to seven days you'll get as they go through the chute with an injectable antibiotic. I think the first thing is, is to work with your veterinarian and uh, your nutritionist. Uh, in the case of Pulmatil, there's, there's some restrictions there when it can be fed and, and what it can be combined with. And it's the, the VFD process, Veterinary Feed Directive process, which you have to fill out or have to go through to feed Pulmatil. It, it's new to a lot of us on the beef side. We've been doing, a, doing it on the pork side for several years with, with our products, but um, really not a, not a hard process. It's just new, getting everybody used to it. So the veterinarian will have to decide what cattle are eligible for treatment, fill out the VFD, um, the nutritionist, really formulates the ration with the antibiotic in it and you implement it that way. On our side with Pulmatil we can do paper VFDs or electronics so whatever uh, whatever process works best for the producer. Uh, Lanco, uh, me as a technical consultant and the sales rep can assist in any way as well. about what we saw in our registration studies on our, our early research. It reduces pools about about a third, you know, 35, 36 percent. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to compare Pullman cattle versus no, no treat cattle, so that's versus a, a control.